So welcome back to a new video. Today's uh, tutorial I'm going to use some uh, used yarn from um, what I have. It's a so Red Heart Soft Yarn uh, in the guacamole color and a 5mm hook, crochet hook. And for all the information, don't forget to check the description box where I'll put all the details related to this video. So we'll start with a slip knot. And I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to double crochet by yarning over into the first stitch. Pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. Chain one, another double crochet, chain one, another double crochet. I'm gonna do that for a total of eight times, chaining one. And double crochet in the same chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, chain one and join on top of the chain three, beginning chain three. Okay, so starting my next round after I made a slip stitch, <coughs> I'm gonna chain three, one two and three and in the same space here where I chain three I'm gonna make seven double crochet together with the chain three it's gonna be total of eight double crochet so I'll add seven more double crochet this is one two three Oops, sorry, this is wrong. Yarn over. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. So as we said, total with the chain three, it's going to be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now on to the next one, I'm going to make a single crochet. So insert my hook into the next space over here and make a single crochet. Now in my next space, which is the V stitch, I'm going to make eight more double crochet. So basically what we're going to do in the V stitch, a double crochet in the space, single crochet until the end of this round. So again, yarn over, insert my hook and work my double crochet. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. And again in the next space, which is this one, one single crochet. 
So I should end up having four uh, shells like this and it looks like flower so far. So I'll continue till the end of the row then we'll meet again to see how we'll start the next row. Okay, now I'm at the end of my round and what I'm going to do after my last single crochet, I'm going to slip stitch on top of the beginning chain 3, just insert my hook and pull through both loops to close my round. Now we're starting the second round, so to begin this row I'm going to chain 4. Okay, and back into our previous single crochet from the last row, I'm gonna make a double crochet. Yarn over, come back to my single crochet and work my double crochet. And we created a V-stitch here. Okay, so next after this V-stitch, I'm gonna chain three, one, two, and three and in the same single crochet which is here I'm gonna make a double crochet okay so again I'm gonna chain three here one two and three I will place one double crochet in the single previous previous single crochet I'm gonna chain one again and another double crochet in the same single crochet like this okay so basically in this row we're gonna work into these four corners the same way as this I'm gonna place one double crochet chain one one double crochet chain three one double crochet chain one one double crochet before that I'm gonna chain five so one two three four and five and going into this corner which was the previous single crochet from the previous row so one double crochet in the previous single crochet chain one and another double crochet chain 3 as we did previously and another double crochet chain 1 and one more double crochet this way so every corner Is separated by a chain 5 then one double crochet chain 1 one double crochet and to separate the V stitch chain 3 and again V stitch which is double crochet chain 1 double crochet I'm gonna repeat again the same thing chain 5 1 2 
3, 4, 5 and 1 double crochet chain 1 another double crochet chain 3 1 double crochet chain 1 1 double crochet 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and again in the next corner of the single crochet 1 double crochet chain 1 1 double crochet chain 3 1 double crochet chain 1 1 double crochet the last V stitch and then again chain 5 2 3 4 5 and we're gonna join onto the third stitch from our beginning work And this how row 2 looks like so far. And now we're going to see how to make round 3. So, so starting my next row, I'm going to slip stitch in this space. And I'm going to chain 3. 1, 2, and 3, and I'm gonna put seven double sorry, six double crochet. It will be seven with this chain three. So, one, two, three, four, five. And six into the next space which is this one one single crochet and into the next space again seven double crochet so it's my hook one two four five six and seven now we're going to need to <coughs> <coughs> Now we're going to need to cover our chain 5 here. So what we're going to do on the fourth uh, double crochet, I'm going to do a single crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So here I'll insert my hook and do a single crochet to cover the chain 5. And I'm gonna continue in the same in the space in the corners with seven double crochet, single crochet in the chain three, seven double crochet in the chain one. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and single crochet in the next space, and again seven double crochet in the next space. Four, five, six, 
four, five, six, and seven. And then, like the previous one, on the fourth double crochet, I will make a single crochet. I'm going to continue the same till the end of my row and then I'll come back and to show you how to do the next row. Now I have come to the last stitch and I'm going to slip stitch on top of the beginning chain 3 to close my round. And this is what you get. Now we're going to see how we will be making the next round okay so what we're gonna do now basically is repeat round two which is uh, we'll make a v-stitch which is one double crochet chain one double crochet chain three double crochet chain one double crochet and then to go to the next corner we have to chain five and again repeat the two v-stitches then chain five into every corner and I'll show you how now so here this is my previous single crochet so what I'm gonna do is chain four one two three and four and I'll yarn over and work my double crochet into or from the previous single crochet this is the first V stitch I'm gonna now, I'll come back to the next V-stitch for this at the end of my work from here into the round. So I'm gonna chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. My next corner is gonna be here, the single crochet. So basically in every single crochet, we have to make two V-stitches. So in this corner, I'm gonna double crochet chain one, double crochet, chain three, double crochet again in the same single crochet, chain one and double crochet. Okay, so basically for this row, in these four corners, one, two, three, and four, I'm gonna make only one V stitch, the big corners. And in the uh, flower corners, let's call them, I'm gonna make two V stitches, which is one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, in the same single crochet, and then chain five again to go into the next one. Now I'm in my next corner and then I'm gonna make only one V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain five, onto this corner, one double crochet. chain one, one double crochet, chain three, and again another v-stitch. You see how it looks like, then chain five. Okay, here I'm at the end of my row and I'm going to make a slip stitch to join and close my round. Okay. Alright. Okay. 
and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna chain three one two three and six double crochet in this V stitch means total of seven so one two five and six okay and again to anchor or close or oh, sorry or secure my uh, chain five I'm gonna make a double crochet in the fourth double uh, stitch okay like so and again now in the corner so I have this chain one, chain three and chain one. In the chain one, seven double crochet, single crochet, seven double crochet. And I'll continue the same. So basically, in those corner, you'll make two shell, uh, two shell, uh, yeah, two shells. So in this corner, you're gonna make two shells, which is seven double crochet, single crochet, seven double crochet. And in this single V stitches, you'll only make seven double crochet, what means one shell, until the end of the round. I'm gonna show you one corner. So this is the V stitch. I'm gonna put seven double crochet. <coughs> In the chain three single crochet and again seven double crochet Okay, so again, this is seven. Now to secure the chain five, again, a double crochet in the fourth stitch. And then again, I have one V stitch. I will make only one seven double crochet, means one time seven double crochet or one shell only, whichever is easier for you. So this is how it looks so far. So in this corner it's two shells and in this corner is one shell. I'll finish this and I'll come back uh, for to recap the work and how it's gonna be till the end of your blanket. So this is how far we are now and this is what I did so I ended again in this row I have done the V stitch five double crochet and all the same way so <clears throat> what you're gonna keep doing depend of what you want to do whether it's placemat whether it's a, a coaster or a, any decoration thing or a blanket or maybe a pillow cover you just keep alternating between two rows the shells and the base for the shells which are the V stitches basically so uh, what you need to memorize in the corners we always do uh, one double crochet chain one one double crochet chain three in the same uh, single crochet one double crochet chain one one double crochet all of these in the previous single crochet in the corners these four and then whatever extra on the side corners you do only one v-stitch 
it looks complicated but it's very easy once you start working on this project. If you have any questions leave it in the comment section and until next time take care bye bye